remains on the terror attack in Jammu. Well, amidst the devastating news of the lives lost in this attack, there is a story of hope, of survival and of joy. A pregnant lady survived the attack and delivered a baby. Watch the heroes who saved these two lives. Republic TV spoke to the officers who saved the baby and the mother. Here's a report. From morning onwards, we started receiving many casualties. Uh, it just so happened that in the evening around 7.30, we got uh, uh, a challenging uh, task uh, in the form of a lady, 25-year-old uh, Shazda, wife of uh, Nazir, uh, who was carrying and uh, she had also been shot. So uh, there was a double dual task of saving the life of the unborn child as well as the mother in this case. I am uh, happy to say that my extremely capable team of gynecologists, anesthesiologists, surgeons, they have performed the task extremely well. Both the mother and the baby, they are healthy. And a healthy female child was born by a caesarean section at around 7.58 in the evening. Term lady at 35 weeks of pregnancy, she has come to uh, the the, the period of gestation, the child was viable enough, he was mature enough that we can safely deliver the child and we have to see that uh, whether the, the mother has lost, if she, if she is losing blood, if she is hemodynamically unstable. Uh, it was a good luck for us that the lady was stable and when uh, we assessed the patient, when the, we assessed the mother, her BP, her pulse rate, it was okay. So uh, we could safely go for the caesarean first. It was not that she was bleeding profusely and we had to do that uh, gunshot wound surgery first. It was a better decision that we take out the child, then be in a comfortable position, explore the wound uh, thereafter. That they have been extremely happy to have saved those two lives. Not only those two lives, but these doctors here at the military hospital, they have been saving lives. Uh, since yesterday, they have received several such patients who have received gunshot wounds and they are under treatment here. Brit NCP leader Dhananjay Munde took pot shots at former Maharashtra Chief Minister Narayan Rane, who recently quit the Congress and is awaiting his induction in the BJP led NDA government in the state. Munde, leader of opposition in state legislative council, said Rane got nothing after quitting the Congress. Launching a clearing operation, the army tonight fired mortar shells at the vacated residential quarters of the Sunjuvan military camp, setting them ablaze a day after the pre-dawn audacious strike at the military station by jesh e Muhammad terrorists. The terror attack on an army camp here reflects the failure and weakness of the BJP-led NDA government at the centre. Senior Congress leader Gulab Nabi Azad said on Sunday suggesting that a policy paralysis prevailed in the country. India and the UAE have agreed to start joint development projects for third countries, including the war-torn Afghanistan, according to a joint statement issued today after Prime Minister Narendra Modi concluded his second visit to the oil-rich country. After his rear-view mirror drive jibe at Prime Minister Congress President Rahul Gandhi on Sunday, likened Prime Minister Narendra Modi to a cricketer who bats looking at the wicketkeeper without knowing from where the ball is coming. <laughs> 